Hey guys, how are you today? I thought today it would be fun to do a 10 minute makeup routine. Now, here's the thing. I'm the kind of person that I either look like this with nothing at all on my face, or I have kind of everything on all together. So my 10 minute makeup routine is one that I don't do very often. And when I do, it's mostly just like if I'm running errands, I don't have a lot to do that day, or it's kind of like a lazy day, or it's that time of the month and I just don't feel like putting any makeup on. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> so that is kind of when I do this, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I do. I'm actually going to do my base and all of that today, which you guys don't get to see very often on my channel. I usually focus on the eyes, but this base is also kind of what I do on a normal basis because I don't like a lot of makeup on my actual face. So I'm going to go through all that. It's going to be maybe a lot of talking, just kind of explaining things. So it might look like it might be more than 10 minutes, but when I'm just sitting here doing it by myself, it's 10 minutes. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I have already moisturized with my e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I've talked about this before. It is my favorite moisturizer. has been for about two years, maybe. It's a really good moisturizer. And then for priming, lately I've been loving this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. I always go in with a luminizing primer, something that's going to give me a little bit of glow because I do have very dull, very dry skin. So this just helps with that whole situation. <laughs> What I love about this one too is it's got a little bit of tack to it. So I just feel like it does make everything clean pretty nicely. And you can see it just gave me a little bit more glow, a little bit more life to my face. Okay, so next I go in with foundation and my current go-to absolute favorite kind of everyday foundation is my L'Oreal, or no, not L'Oreal, Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. And I'm in the shade Nude Beige. That's a light, medium, warm shade. And what I'll do is I'll just take that cushion on my elf beauty sponge tap that all over my face now the only thing i do differently if i'm wearing a lot of makeup for the day i will go in with a pore filling primer kind of in this area here but on days when i'm not really looking to wear a lot of makeup like my 10 minute makeup days i don't do that so i'll just do this what i love about this foundation is that it really is easy to blend so i don't have to worry about spending a long time blending it like I do with something that's maybe a little bit more high coverage or something that doesn't match as well. This one is really light coverage. As you can see, it doesn't give me super, super high coverage. That's it for foundation. And then I go in with my concealer. Now, my favorite combination to use with concealer is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And what I'll do is I'll actually take that under the eyes. This one is a very nice coverage concealer if I go in with a couple layers. But I usually, on days like this, don't go in with a lot of layers. I'll just do this that you're seeing here. Um, you know, cover any blemishes, this part here, and then, you know, my blemishes here. And then I'll go in with my e.l.f. concealer. Uh, I don't know what this one is called. I'll link it down below for you guys. But I'll just apply a little bit of that one as well because the e.l.f. one is just really smooth. And again, just makes everything blend really easily and really fast. And it's also very hydrating under my eyes, so my eyes don't look really dry underneath. So I use that um, to brighten underneath the eyes. And as you can see again, blends like a dream. Okay, next I'll move on to bronzer. And what I like to do is I like to take this Take Home the Bomb bronzer in the shade Oscar. It's very light, so it's kind of perfect for me on days when like I can't be bothered to blend my bronzer or try to look, you know, too much. <laughs> it just provides the slightest, I mean, you guys can see just the slightest little bit of definition and warmth to my face. But I will sometimes go in with one of the darker colors just to tie everything together a little bit more and add a little bit even more warmth or more definition depending on what I'm looking for that day. And then from there I'll go in with highlighter and my favorite one is my Ofra Rodeo Drive. I talk about this way too much on this channel. And I'll just actually take it on my sponge, tap the sponge on my hand, and then just pat it onto the high points of my cheeks. Now I like to do it this way because again, I don't actually have to worry about blending anything. It just automatically looks really nice and soft but really glowy too. And then the blush that I pretty much always use is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. That's this one right here, and I'll just put a little bit of that on my cheeks. Now, sometimes I don't use this one because I like something a little bit softer, um, but I'm using it today. I don't know. It might look crazy. 
So then I move on to my eyes and currently I'm loving my Masterpiece palette from Glam Light Cosmetics. I'm going to link this down below. I have a review also that I did of this palette and tutorial, like a more glamorous looking tutorial. So I'll put that up here in the eye if you guys want to see that. But you can also get 20% off on their website if you use the code Heidi. So there's that. It's a beautiful palette. So I'll just take a fluffy brush. Um, I'm going to use my Sigma E40 today. And what I'll do is I'll take one of the kind of more brown tone shades. So today I'm going to start with this shade here, and I'm just going to run that all over the crease. You can also use your bronzer for this, just use whatever bronzer you used on your face, but I don't know, I love that palette, I just reach for it a lot. So I'm just going to blend that on the crease, and then just kind of blend it out a little bit. And then I'll take whatever is left and just run it over my lid but not really trying to get too much color out of it. Sometimes I'll take whatever's left on that brush and just run it across the lower lash line a little bit. And then I'll take my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. It's my all-time favorite mascara. And I'll just apply my mascara. Okay, that's gonna do it for the eyes. Now, for the brows. What I like to do is take a pencil that's a little bit thicker than most brow pencils. So this is the one that I have. You can see it's got that triangle shape to it. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm, so I'm not sure what the brand is or anything, but I'll list it down in the description box below for you guys. Um, and I just like to run that very quickly through my brows. I don't really make a huge fuss over them. Just basically trying to get some dimension in there. Or not dimension, some product in there. Now I'm saying dimension because that's what I was talking about with my eyes. But you see how quick that was? And then I'll just blend it out. Boom, brows are done. Now for lips, I usually don't do this until I get in the car because I keep my lip product in my purse and I use the same one basically every single day. And that's the Fenty Beauty Gloss. But today I brought it out, <laughs> took it out of my purse so that I could show you guys. But I basically just apply that to my lips. I love this gloss because it goes with everything. And that is it, you guys. Let me take my hair down real quick. My hair is giving me a rough go today, but there you have it. That's my 10 minute makeup routine, my mom on the go makeup routine, what I do when I'm super in a hurry but want to look somewhat put together. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you do for your 10 minute makeup routine. What's your go to? What do you absolutely have to have anytime you're kind of in a hurry, have to get out quick? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.